I was born in 2018. In record breaking time. Back then, many thought that I won't even survive. But today, I'm the fastest in the country. How fast? 160 kilometers per hour in just 140 seconds. Who am I? Indian Railways practically carries about 650 crore people every year. This is the most affordable transportation railway in the world. And our Prime Minister's focus has been that for the common citizen, railway is the most important mode of transportation. So how do we improve the passenger experience. So Prime Minister then decided, no, let's do a quantum jump. Indian engineers are designing for the world. They are manufacturing for the world. Why can't we design something for ourselves? He gave a clear mandate that the train has to be designed in India, has to be made in India, it has to be world class. It has taken so much effort to put these very, very strong and important elements that make Vande Bharat, that define Vande Bharat. Each and every consumer who comes into Vande Bharat must spend a few seconds to try and, you know, relish the beauty of all that effort that has gone into making Vande Bharat the truly Indian story. So, this is a big challenge actually. See, we have never done this earlier, this sort of uh, I mean, train with these sort of features. This is the first time we have to design transformers at the 2800 kVA transformers for the under, under slung mounting. And uh, no Indian company was willing to manufacture this in a short time. Everything else is made, the train is ready to go, but by August the transformers are not in the site at all. So that was a, almost a low point that what will happen. Changing the technology, developing vendors, getting these equipment fitted in time, marrying various subsystems to make them perform in sync, that was a very big challenge. Even an experienced manufacturer, globally if you see, a project of this type, uh, they ask for minimum, minimum three years from the concept, from the design, development, manufacture and commissioning, flat within 18 months. It is a record actually. Chennai mein bani ye train, Delhi se Kansi ke beech, pehla safar karne wali hai. Yehi ek Bharat Shrest Bharat ke satchi taakat hai. Vande Bharat Express ki taakat hai. For the train set, uh, we have got um, driving caps on both ends and the power is distributed among the, along the complete train. See, in a loco haul train, if there is a failure of a locomotive, the train gets stranded. In a Vande Bharat, even with one unit lost, in a 16-car train, there is no loss of performance. The maximum speed remains the same. Nothing else gets affected. A bullet train takes 0 to 100, it takes 54 seconds. Vande Bharat does that in 52 seconds. For a common person, I'll say that you have the experience in the Hawaii Jaj, if you have the experience in a train, then the name of the train is Vande Bharat. And the features start right here, starting with the seat which can rotate a complete 180 degree as you can see. Also, these seats come with separate charging points for each passenger. Another important feature of this coach is the brilliant cooling system. This doesn't really blast cold air on your face, but cools you down to a comfortable level. 
There are also these smart screens which display information related to the train's next stop and so on and so forth related to the train's itinerary. These are automatic doors. At the press of a button, you can see this door will open. This door is not only automatic, but is also wide enough. Conventionally, we've seen on Indian Railways coaches that the doors were very narrow, very difficult to pass by. Moving on, we see that this is the pantry area. This is where all the food is kept. Uh, it's heated. Oops! Uh, as you can see, the doors are automatic, which means that every time there is no movement, the doors will shut. Again, we'll come to the pantry area. This is where all the food is kept. It's heated and cool depending on what is being served. As you can see, the light is blinking. If I press this button, I'll be able to talk to the train's manager in case of an emergency. This door is completely automatic, which means that once this door is shut by the local pilot or the train's manager, you can't really open this door until unless uh, the train comes to a halt at the next stop. Moving from one coach to another has been nothing short of a horror. But with the Vande Bharat coach, you can see I can stand right in between and not be scared. These are briefly some of the features of the Bande Bharat train. For a train designed to run at 180 km per hour and sanctioned at 160, this seems to be rather slow. In fact, over the last two years, the average speed of Vande Bharat trains has been 83 km per hour. So why is Vande Bharat in the slow lane? The tracks basically decide what is the maximum speed at which a train can run. Let's say you take a bullet train today and run on the existing tracks. You cannot run the bullet train at 350 kmph. You will have to run the bullet train also at the speed at which the tracks are designed for. These are tracks which are designed way back, 40, 50, 60 years back. We have mountain regions, we have deep curves running up to 2 to 3 degree. So when all these things are available, we cannot change the entire track structure also in one day. We have constructed 5,200 kilometers of new tracks and upgraded about 4,000 kilometers of old tracks. What is the total network of Switzerland? 5,000 kilometers. So upgrading a network equivalent to Switzerland's entire network, that is the pace at which work is being done. Wherever there is a single line, we are making it a double line. If there are two lines, we are making it a third, introducing a third line. Once that happens, that takes place, we'll have a lot of path available. Once the path available, at least uh, the from 130 km per hour, which is which the train is capable of, and which the infrastructure is capable of supporting, at that much average speed will be attained. The distance up to 550 or 600 kilometers, you can comfortably do sitting. So that is a chair car format. Beyond 500, 600 kilometers, a sleeper format is getting developed. Delhi Havla, Delhi Mumbai, Delhi Indore, uh, they are still uh, now 15 hours, 14 hours journey. They'll become almost uh, 11 hours or 12 hours, almost overnight journey. Bandra Metro is also being planned to launch as a train which will, be, which will be running between distances up to 150 or up to 200 kmph. Bandra Suburban will be for utilization in the suburban areas. That uh, The difference there is it's a wide body train with a uh, width of 12 feet. We can make a, a train of 250 kmph. Given a given opportunity, we can make a train of 300 kmph plus also. The team at ISF is very confident that we are ready.